did you um, achieve the height estimate? Well, I did a direct match with the uh, piece of calibration film where a person of six Seven foot five, five and a half uh, right. stature um, was walking. And um, so the direct superposition of the tracings um, gives me a, I think it's a fairly reliable estimate of the stature of Sasquatch within an inch of six foot five. So, um, you know, he's not all that big a beast. Right, right. Did you, some, somebody in Russia said, um, in this institute where they make artificial limbs, that they said what we can see is not only something big and bulky, but they said something heavy. Ah, uh, yes. Did you get a feeling of that sure. there's weight the there? Bulk, there's a lot of weight in, on, on the shoulders. Not so much just bulk, but weight. You know, like, the, well, especially the swinging of the arm. A heavy movement. Mm. Um, but this is heavy. I mean, I think um, at a guess, 140 kilograms. That's what's that? 280, 300 pounds. Yes. I mean, that, that's that's my sort of guess, which is heavy for a human. Um, but all in proportion. You see, the hips are about the right height, the same proportions to standing height as you get in a human. Um, and although he, Sasquatch has large, heavy shoulders, he also has stout legs. He's not out of proportion, really. A really big man, a man who goes in for muscle building and so on, um, could have a build like that. You only got to add hair and you get a, a muscle man looking rather like Sasquatch, except the neck. Sasquatch, except the neck. Did you make any measurements of the shoulder width, of, of uh, the width of the hips? But no, as I say, the I did from the, the, the distant shots. And um, uh, where are we? At the back page of this report, I thought you see we've got right. some trace of the hip in the distance. It's very hard to make any accurate measurements on them. So there's hair over the shoulders and hair over the buttocks and so on. Um, which is very unreliable. And um, what would be more reliable, you see, is the distance across the skeleton, let's say, that, uh, across the, uh, the hip bones at the hip and across the, uh, the shoulder girdle at the shoulder. And this is, um, well, we simply don't know. Did you um, look at from one of my and was that this thing was as wide in shoulders as we thought it was? Um, did you feel the arms were swinging on the outside? You know what I wanted to say? If there's a man dressed up and he wanted to appear bulky, obviously this stuffing has to be on the outside. And my feeling was the shoulders are swinging out. You know, on the outside, the, the, um... Yes, you, you, you mean... Let's say you take an ordinary man with 20, 22 inch shoulders, uh, and he's dressed up, and he wants to appear maybe 34 or 36 inch wide. Obviously, the, 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 the stuffing has to be on the outside you know, of his bones. Sasquatch doesn't look like that. The first arm looks as if it belongs to the trunk. It isn't, um, uh, I think the arm, not the forearm, but the arm would have had to be much thicker in Sasquatch if it was a, um, to be faked by a person with narrow shoulders. However, um, a six foot five man can have broad shoulders. And, uh, you know, I, did, I, I, did you make any measurements on the shoulders compared with uh, the Jim McLaren film? No, I decided the accuracy was too low to um, to um, to do it. In fact, both on the McLaren the McLaren film, um, the shots of him are like they are in the early part of the Sasquatch film. It's, he's walking obliquely across the field of view, and so it isn't possible to measure across the shoulders. Um, it's only that distant shot of Sasquatch as he passes out through the trees. And the 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 um, so I, I think we've just got to um, 
uh, so we don't know on that.